it's Jay and today I'm here with another round of the Bookmoji challenge. I originally saw this idea for the video over on Haley's channel from Haley in Bookland. I went over to Twitter and asked you guys to send me a couple of emojis. And I got a lot, so this is round two. I don't know how many rounds there's going to be, but probably a lot. Based off of the emojis that you sent me, I'm going to recommend books to you all of what I thought when I saw that emoji. So without further ado, let us get started. The first emoji I was sent was the middle finger emoji. And so I associated with a book that made me want to stick my middle finger up at it because I did not enjoy it. And I am going with Allegiant by Veronica Roth. I don't think I need to go into the reasons why this book angered me so much. I'm pretty sure if you've read the book, you probably know what I'm talking about. But it made me so angry. And I just was like, Veronica Roth, what you doing, baby? What are you doing? The next emoji I was sent was the sun emoji. So I associate that with the summertime. So I picked a book that I associate with summertime as well. And it is Since You've Been Gone by Morgan Matson. Honestly, you could probably pick any Morgan Matson book for the sun emoji because they just scream summer to me. I think it's the covers. Every Morgan Matson book just has this summer vibe to it. But I absolutely love this book when I read it. I thought it was so cute and fluffy and just so perfect for summer. The next emoji I was sent were the kiss emoji. like The one where it's just a lips, like, you know what I'm talking about? It's just like lipstick kiss, you know? So I chose a book that was kind of like a contemporary, light, fluffy romance kind of thing. And I chose P.S. I Like You by Casey West. I liked this book a lot when I read it. It's very fluffy, very cute, definitely a very fast read. I really liked the love interest in it. I thought he was super cute, and I, uh, I digged it. I digged it a lot. The next emoji I was sent was the diamond emoji. So the way that I interpreted that was kind of like a diamond in the rough book, so kind of like an underrated book. And you probably all know what I'm going to say because this is my book baby. I love it so much dang much, but so many people have not read it, I do not know why, you all should read it, but it is a Vinyl by Sophia Elaine Hansen. Oh my god. I rave about this book so much on Twitter and on my channel. I think it's so underrated. It's going to be a trilogy. She's writing the third book right now, the second book, Radio. Also, such an underrated book. This whole trilogy just so underrated. Like, it needs to be better known. So, go read this book. I have a review if you want to hear my full thoughts of it. The next emoji I was sent was the emoji where it has like no mouth. So the way I interpreted this was it's kind of like left me speechless. If that makes sense. But, but the book that I'm going with is The Hate You Give by Angie Thomas. This book is so important. It's a Black Lives Matters own voices book. If you have not read it, please read it because it's honestly probably going to be a classic in my opinion. It should be. But I have a full review of it if you're interested, but this book just, I, it blew my mind. The next emoji I was sent was the clown emoji, so I chose a book that I thought was very funny, and that is Don't Get Caught by Kurt Denan. I think this book is so perfect for, like, 12-year-olds and up. Because it's very funny, but it's a funny that's kind of, like, rude. Like, it's kind of like guy humor. I know, like, that sounds weird to say, but it's, like, a lot of, like, fart jokes. You know how guys find that funny? Like, it doesn't have fart jokes in there, but it's, like, that kind of humor. I have a full review of this book as well, if you're interested in it, but it's basically a book about a prank war, and it's just, it's so lighthearted and just funny. Then the final emoji I was sent was the little disco man, so I chose a book that has a lot to do with music. I chose Who She Was by Stormy Smith. This book has a very heavy focus on music and what that means to the two characters in this book. I'll review this book as well if you want to check that out. But I love this book. I thought it was so dang good. Alright guys, so those were my book emoji recommendations for this video. Let me know down below if you want to see more of these videos or leave an emoji of your own down below and I will do round three. There's going to be around three anyways because I still have more emojis from Twitter, but besides the point, we can have around four, five, six, seven, whatever you want. I'll see you all in my next video. Goodbye.